gone off, eh? Oops. Light can I use to see? Hiya guys, welcome back to Clearview Driving. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Salmon and today I am doing a mock test with Vivia. Now Vivia, welcome to the channel. Um, you're an experienced driver. Yes. Um, yeah. But you've still got a professional license in the UK, so yeah. you have to do everything again here. Yes. yes. <laughs> How's that been for you? I think been driving in India for so long, it's it takes time for you to get rid of those rules and adopt to here. So it took me quite a while to you know stop rushing, you know look at the lines, give it, give path to everybody else. So yeah, it was a transition. So how many hours of driving lessons have you done in the UK? Oh, uh, I would say twelve to thirteen hours so far. Twelve thirteen okay. hours. Yeah. All right, and your test is coming up soon. You said. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so. Have you ever done a mock test before? No, this is my first one. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're going to see how this goes today. Um, do you know how today's going to go? Or would you like me to tell you a little bit about the yes, test? Yes, please. Yeah. Okay, so throughout the drive, I want you to follow the road ahead. Whenever I need you to turn, I will tell you in plenty of time. If mm -hmm. I'm not saying anything, just go straight. Okay. okay? Mm -hmm. We're going to carry out one manoeuvre. We may also carry out the emergency stop, similar to everything you've already been practicing with your instructor. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get you to carry out a bit independent driving, which is where I'm going to get you to follow some signs okay. for a little while today okay, okay. Uh, the drive is going to roughly last about 38 to 40 minutes mm -hmm. and then yeah that's it okay all right so for those of you that are new to watching the channel don't forget to like the video comment down below subscribe and I just want to say a massive thank you because we are currently at 600,000 subs and that's amazing so thank you guys all right so Divya, before we get started a quick question mm -hmm. about the vehicle mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. could you tell me about your, um, sorry, could you tell me about the general condition of your tyres to be roadworthy? So how should your tyres be? In yeah, so uh, we basically look, there are no cuts and marks on the tyres okay. and there are no bulges and the, you know, you, the tread depth, it should be 1.6 millimetre across the middle three lines. Yeah. Perfect, sounds good. <laughs> yeah, everyone forgets that bit, so it's the centre three quarter breadth centre of the tyre. Yeah. But yeah, you said it, that's perfect. Yeah. Okay, so whenever you're ready, we're going to get started and um, best to get the fans up and running because we can't see anything on the way. I'll tell you one, one second, just... Uh, is it, are you happy with it? Yeah, it, should, yeah, no, it doesn't it go be. down. With oh, okay, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like this is as far as I'll go. Okay, it should. It's good now. Okay. Yeah. All right. When you're ready, let's start. Shall we? Yeah. So when you're ready, yeah. let's move off. This road, I'd like you to turn right, please. Okay. As we get to the end of this road to make a right turn, the Avis should have taken a little bit more care as this silver car did start to roll back as we emerged out of this junction. Plus, the fact that it's raining and we can't really see behind the car or the windscreen pillar, you want to take more care with junctions like this. Take the next road on your right, please. Mm -hmm. It's just over here. After the green light? Yeah, just after. We're currently on a 20 miles per hour road and as it's raining, don't feel like you have to be driving at 20 miles per hour. Always drive at a speed that's safe according to the traffic and road condition. So if there had been more vehicles around us or the road had been tighter, it would not be safe to drive at 20. And take the next road on your left, please. If you could 
pull in and park up on the left just before the next parked car. Get fairly close to it. Leave about the car. Behind length. the car? Just before okay. it. But just keep going until the okay. street lamp. So keep going. Okay. Get a little bit closer to the car. Keep going. Keep on going forward. About there is fine, thank you. And drive up when you're ready. driving test you're going to be asked to do an angled start like this so you'll be asked to park up just before a car leaving about a car's length in front. Make sure to look ahead and behind carefully when moving off from this position and also move off very slowly as you have to coordinate your hands and feet from this angle and that can be quite challenging. This road turn left, please. As we get to the end of this road to make this left turn, Divya makes sure the road is clear and tries to move off, but she's bringing the clutch up too quickly and ends up stalling into the new road. Even though she did stall twice at this junction, she was still making sure the road was clear towards the right as she was checking and deals with the situation fairly quickly. She's gone off, eh? Oops. Sorry. Was well, the engine off just for my knowledge? Yeah, briefly. Uh, just... On this occasion, it did not go down as a serious fault with the green mini approaching because they were approaching from quite a distance when Divya tried to move off the first time. But she does need to be a little bit careful with her junction observation. At the traffic lights, we're going to be turning right, okay? Divya gets marked down for her position normal driving as she's too far over towards the left hand side of her lane. As we get closer to the traffic lights you can see this a lot more. So we're going to start the independent driving now, so I'm going to give you a series of signs to follow. Mm -hmm. As we're driving down this road, I want you to follow signs towards the A4, A4. towards Heathrow. Okay. Okay? Okay. Alright, whenever you're ready. By this point it had been raining for quite some time and you can see that there are some large puddles about. Be sure to avoid puddles when it's safe to do so. If you can see there are any pedestrians close by to a puddle, definitely avoid going through it and be sure to slow right down if you can't avoid going through it. We've got an unusual giveaway junction in front of us. Now it comes up quite suddenly just after this bend. So we've got a giveaway to traffic approaching from the left hand side where you can see the no entry. As this is quite an open junction, you can just look and move through this quite easily. But if you're not sure who you're giving way to, make sure to slow down and take it more carefully. So the signs will be coming up soon. Okay. A4 you said. A4 towards Hounds and Heathrow, sorry. Approaching this roundabout, Heathrow is the fourth exit over on the right hand side. Divya initially goes into the left hand lane but realises she does need to move into the right but there's not enough space to go around into that position from here. So she carries on waiting in a safe place. 
That's the right side. I wasn't sure where they were going. Uh -huh. Now while driving along on the steel carriageway there's a few things happening at the same time. Divya was checking her mirrors to move back towards the position normal driving and she does switch back into the middle lane. Now while driving in this lane, she's driving too close to the vehicle in front considering that it's raining, she should be keeping at least a 4 second gap. So she does get a serious fault for her following distance because she's following them way too close. Now the car in front wasn't fully at 40, but we should drop back. Also while driving in this lane she gets marked down for position normal driving as she's driving too close to the white line on the left hand side. And lastly we should be driving in the left lane as that's the position for normal driving. There was a vehicle on the left who was holding back from overtaking as Divya was driving too close to the white line on the left. As we're taking the fourth exit right on this roundabout, we need to go into the rightmost lane as soon as we enter. Divya ends up switching into the left lane once we've entered and then she was switching lanes throughout the roundabout. She gets a serious fault as soon as we enter because she ends up switching lanes in front of another car. A315, sorry, right? A315 fourth exit, yes. Okay. Yeah, can I take the fourth exit or should I take this one? Do what do you I think know. is safe at this point, okay? Mm. 
At this point I would check my mirrors to the right, signal right and even do a right blind spot check just to make sure it's definitely clear when I'm switching lanes. Divya tends to straight line roundabouts. She's sort of looking at her exit and driving straight towards it as opposed to sticking to a lane and following that lane towards the exit. Take the next road on your right, please. Yeah, the first junction coming up. driveways on this one okay mm -hmm. that'll be fine there yeah. all right so what i'm going to get you to do now is i'd like you to use the vehicle ahead to demonstrate how you would carry out the parallel park exercise mm -hmm. so firstly start alongside the vehicle in the road then reverse back and finish within two car lanes okay just make sure you don't go out of that two car lane gap yeah. and don't go on the pavement mm -hmm. okay Remember guys, always check over your left and right blind spot before you're doing any sort of reversing. Divya gets marked down for this as a minor fault as she did happen to check halfway through and the road was clear. If somebody had turned up as she was reversing earlier, this would have gone down as a serious fault. Now we're approaching a traffic light junction to make a right turn. On this particular junction, there is no repeat traffic light once you've gone past the stop line. At the traffic lights turn right, please. So once you're in the middle, simply wait for the road ahead to be clear and you can turn straight away. If there's no repeat traffic light present, this means that the traffic lights on the opposite side will be green for a little bit longer than your side. If 
which light can I use to see? While driving through this high street, Divya was driving slightly too fast. Even though she's not over the speed limit, there's just a much higher chance of somebody stepping into the road on a road like this. So you wanna make sure you're always driving at a safe speed according to the traffic and road condition and not just trying to go to the speed limit. Passing alongside these double-decker buses, it's a good idea to step off the accelerator in case of any pedestrians that might be crossing in between. Especially with the weather, it is harder to spot hazards, so make sure to step off the accelerator to give you more time to react. And if you can pull in and park up before the white car, please. Not too close because it's quite a raised curve and just keep going all the way forward. All the way forward. That's great there, thank you. You can secure the car. And the ignition don't go up from here. Right? Yeah. And just put the handbrake on, please. Thank you. You may relax. That is the end of your <laughs> test. Yeah. I'm just going to turn that off because it's going to keep going off on the yeah. wires. Alright, Vivia, that's the end of your driving test. <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah. You wouldn't have passed, passed on this yeah. occasion. Why would you say? <laughs> I think the biggest mistake that I did was the at the spiral roundabout. Mm -hmm. I took the wrong lane. I should have been spiraling out as soon as I take off from the roundabout. Okay. That's where I felt I did wrong and then messed up with the lanes. That was the biggest one, I feel. That Yeah, that was a serious fault. But you're wrong when you said you should have been spiraling straight away. Because you know you're taking the fourth, fourth exit. exit. Yeah, that's where I got confused because I know when we spiral out when we take the third exit, but it was a fourth one. So I think no, no. Generally, you're going to be spiraling out. But first, yeah. what you need to do is you need to go in and take the lane. Yeah. You kind of went in and started moving out. Mm. We haven't even gone past one yet, and you're one, kind yeah. of going this way. Yeah. So at first, you needed to just drive in, okay. select your lane, then okay. look at the road marking for three one five. Yeah. And then that was going to guide you out. Oh. And also counting as you're going as well. Yeah. Mm. Um, so we switched lanes quite a few times on that one, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> Counted about one, two, three, four, four, and then by the end, another one. Yeah. So yeah, um, so unfortunately at that point that was a serious fault. As soon as you went in, you went across and there was a, a grey Audi on the left. They had to go around us to get to their mm. exit, okay? Mm. But besides that, there was one more thing which was a bit concerning for me because we're driving on the A4 and it's a 40 miles per hour road, it's raining quite heavy and you switched from the overtaking lane into the middle lane, yeah. which was good, right. but then you just carried on in the middle lane, why didn't you switch one more? 
Yeah. There was three, right? Three lanes, right, yeah. right. So the fact that you firstly kept driving in the middle lane became a serious fault because you're in the overtaking lane. Okay. But besides that, you were also tailgating the guy in front. He was the Prius. He was slow. He was slow, yes, he was. And it's raining. Mm. The road surface is wet. Okay. You're too close. close. What should have been your following distance on that sort of road and that weather condition? I think twice the distance here. Yeah, twice, so that, yeah. that wasn't a good distance, was it? Yeah. Because mm. now we can't see ahead of him. What if he breaks and we don't know why and the brakes are slow and just, just yeah. all of that. Yeah, I should do more um, the left one, yeah. And one more thing, like these three things happen kind of together. So it's the overtaking position, the following distance, and also when you were driving, you did this briefly on another road before this. So let's imagine this is your lane. Hmm. In your lane, you drive over here. Okay. You're driving too close, close to the left. So we're driving on that carriageway and the left tire felt very close to the white line. Mm, okay. It's I kind of as if you're positioning yourself in the middle of the road, like in the middle of the lane. Hmm. Would you say that's kind of... No, that's not right, yeah. Yeah? yeah. Well, is that something that your instructors ever mentioned before? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I think lane discipline is something which I need to brush up a little more mm. before the test comes up. But um, yeah, and I think roundabout is something. Now I'm a bit confident as to when I need to assess the gap and then move on. Yeah. Thankfully, this one was operated by lights. So yeah. this wasn't like you have to look at the safe space and then you move out. Mm -hmm. But then the lane discipline is something which I usually yeah, mess so it's, up with. The normal position in the lane was over here. Yeah, and yeah. then it was lane discipline on the next one. Yeah. Besides that, your parallel parking. Mm -hmm. Okay. If we were to look at the two aspects of that. Firstly, your observation. Mm -hmm. When did you decide to look around? Yeah, after I started to reverse, yeah. yeah. Then I suddenly remember I had to look around. Yeah, yeah so <laughs> you're kind of nearly done and you're like, oh, let me look. Yeah. Oh, come on, you should have done it oh, earlier. Yeah. Otherwise, perfectly done. You, you're in the space. Great. Just before starting any reversing, just a quick 360. Look around, yes. Yeah? Yes, yeah. Um, the traffic light, you remember the traffic light when you said, wait, when can I go? Which traffic light do I use? Yes, because okay. there was a yellow box there yeah. and then we had to turn right, I suppose. Mm -hmm. And then I couldn't figure out which light. Uh, so sometimes when you're waiting in the middle to turn, yeah. there is no repeat traffic light. Ah, okay. So yeah. that was one of those junctions. Yeah. When that happens, you're simply just waiting for the road ahead. Yes. Yeah. So as soon as it was clear, you can go. And if you feel like you're not sure because they're waiting and they're blocking your view, just yeah. keep waiting. Okay, yeah. Because usually, uh, you know, when there is no safe space, we look at the red light and when the red, there is red and then, you know, we need to clear the junction. Yeah. That's there. That's where I got confused as to where is the red light. Yeah, yeah so that's not always present. Always. Okay. That's okay. only present if the traffic light on both sides goes together, like oh, they're green for the same time. Same time. Okay. Whereas if it's not present, that means we have green traffic lights for 10 seconds. Mm. They may have 20 seconds, so they've got okay. extra time All right. so they okay. can clear it. Mm. Yeah, mm. so that's usually when you won't see it present. So for example, whenever you get to, let's just take a random road. If the speed limit is 30, hmm. if there are no parked cars whatsoever, drive 30, let's say. Yeah. But on that same road, if you put parked cars everywhere, yeah, there are hazards, so 25. Slow down, yeah. If you now put children walking up and down, crossing in between, that mm. same 30 road, is it safe to drive yeah, 30? Makes sense. Yeah. So with every road, there's a speed limit and then there's a space, the safe speed you could yes, actually yes, drive. You drive at. Okay. Yeah, so that's kind sense. of how you have to look at it, hmm. really. Hmm. <laughs> um, yeah, is, let me think if there's anything else I haven't mentioned. These are the kind of bits that stuck out to me the most that we've gone through. Hmm. Mm. Oh, the ambulance. Oh, yeah. When you asked me to, you know, pulled up at one Did side. you Did you know where they were coming from? No, I did not. Okay. I just did you know where they were going? <laughs> no. Okay. So generally, when you're going past any junction, uh -huh. whether it be a roundabout, if you hear an ambulance, definitely you kind of slow down, see where they are, kind of assess, checking okay. mirrors and stuff. Yeah. But even if there's no ambulance, if you were just going past, just a quick scan yeah. to go. Yeah. Just because sometimes people mm. skip and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So it's your position, normal driving in your lane and mm. lane, discipline, lane discipline on the roundabout itself. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, yeah, you'll have a look through this before your test anyway, yes. so that should uh, yes. help you out. This was a good one. And let us know how your test goes. Good Thank luck. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, that is the end of today's mock test video. Hopefully you have found that video to be useful. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe if you're new and select that bell icon so that you get a notification every time that I upload. That is it from us today. Thank you for watching. Bye. <laughs>